this first session is going to be about Commons Collaborative uh, Economy uh, because we have some people who has uh, is new, Commons is new for them. I'm going to give a, a very brief uh, framing of the panel. Then um, Steve uh, Hill, which come from United States, will give us also a background of the development of collaborative economy uh, in United States. Uh, then I will. Uh, come up uh, after him because the the rest of the the panel is going to be about public policies that might favor the development of the commons uh, model of uh, collaborative economy. I'm going to present the case of uh, Barcelona City Council because apart from from being a researcher in the peer-to-peer -peer value, I also I am responsible of the group of collaborative economy in the Barcelona City Council. And I will present you what the, the what we are doing in Barcelona. Uh, then Basilis uh, Nivas uh, will explain uh, the case of Greece and Ecuador uh, in the policies in order to promote uh, commerce production there. And finally, uh, Hamon uh, from uh, uh, Amsterdam uh, and Sherenel will. Um, uh, explain uh, what uh, Amsterdam City Council and, uh, and Cherenel uh, program on sharing cities is been uh, developing. So mainly the the goal of the panel is not only to reflect the on the Commons model of collaborative economy, but actually how to uh, promote it and how uh, public administrations can actually play a role in uh, the development of this uh, model. So Commons. Commons, uh, in very basic terms, refer to uh, collaborative uh, communities, uh, which mainly relate through peer-to-peer -peer, uh, relationships, which means several type of uh, things, like uh, the presence of peer-to-peer uh, um, -peer relations, uh, that might be uh, present hierarchies, but um, based on trust or other forms of organization than the traditional command or also that the people involved is uh, involved uh, on, on, on their own uh, will and not through a contract uh, that forced them to do something or, or they are basically uh, in a voluntary uh, condition. Uh, and finally, they develop together a, a commons, a resource that is being uh, of common property and it tend to be also accessible as a, a public good in the sense of it tries to facilitate uh, its access. When the collaborative uh, communities uh, based on peer-to-peer -peer relations are supported through digital uh, platforms, uh, normally are referred as digital commons, uh, the, the access tends to be open access uh, uh, because of the new technologies facilitate uh, this condition. Traditional or well, traditional the, the starting um, uh, cases of digital commons are uh, cases like the communities around uh, uh, software, like uh, uh, the development of, of Linux or the community of Debian, WiFiNet, which is um, a community of wireless in Barcelona, which actually exemplar, exemplified very well what commons uh, or how commons function. Uh, Wi-Fi started as a network of uh, um, neighbors in the Pyrenees, close to Barcelona, because neither the public administration was provided internet uh, access to the people living in the mountains, neither the market was providing it because the market considered that giving access to uh, very few neighbors in the mountains was so expensive that it, it was not worse from a market perspective. And the public administration was not neither deployed in the, the resource. No? So in a context in which uh, the state is not solving this need or, and the market is neither doing it, uh, these uh, neighbors start to develop a network in order to make sure that there was internet connection through wireless in the Pyrenees. And today this has become the worldwide larger uh, wireless connection and more robust uh, in the world that now it's even arrived to uh, and go beyond Barcelona. So it's really very big uh, wireless connection and it's been um, managed by the community of uh, uh, people sharing the infrastructure. And they have a governance model of the 
uh, infrastructure which is actually involving everybody who is uh, uh, using it or contributing to it. Um, then uh, we also have Wikipedia that you might all uh, know that again it has a governance system that involves uh, the Wikipedians. Uh, and Goteo, which is um, a, a case of uh, crowdfunding for uh, collaborative funding for uh, a commons project. In order to receive something in, or to participate in Goteo and make a fundraising there, you have to have actually a commons approach in the sense of you not only can like have funding for a project, but you have to make like, guarantee that there is going to be something back or something uh, coming back to the community of that have give fundraising to the project. Then from this, this kind of first um, wave of digital commons, now we are experiencing a second uh, or a new wave of digital commons through platform cooperativism that um, involve the um, trying to um, uh, connect the tradition of cooperatives with the collaborative uh, production and putting in the first place the individual sustainability in the sense of uh, creating jobs or uh, creating income for the people involved. That's something was not uh, uh, as present in the first wave. Like Linux, Wifinet, Wikipedia, Coteo, all of them are actually foundations, are not uh, cooperatives. Even if they have governance forms that might uh, be similar to the governance of a cooperative uh, uh, um, but uh, they they were more driving by the the element of providing uh, uh, the commons and uh, in this sense there, there are different type of sustainability models to make sure that the production can keep but the question of individual uh, sustainability was put in a second uh, stage or was uh, more unresolved and now there is uh, this new wave of uh, uh, collaborative production that is actually putting this element in the front uh, line. And we have um, uh, cases, for example, Fermondo, which Fermondo is a, a marketplace for exchanging buy, buy and sell uh, products. Uh, it's like Amazon in the sense of a place where you can buy and uh, but also you can also say things, sell things like eBay. But it's been owned by the uh, community of people who uh, use the place for uh, making exchanges. And it uh, started in Germany and now it's been uh, it's expanding. Stock Unit is a cooperative of artists, which actually of freelance, which provide their services through the platform. And they are uh, they organize in order to create this infrastructure that makes like facilitate the possibility to provide their services, but not losing control over the platform that they use because the the platform is being governed by the the people who provide the services. And Spiral is another case uh, from New Zealand. This in this uh, case, which uh, is also a cooperative that follow um, the logic of. Uh, 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 Cooperativa Integral Catalana, Catalan Integrity Cooperative, which is a, a, a general cooperative in the sense of there is people who get into the cooper cooperative and when you are there you can create different groups in order to support projects. And uh, the cooperative give you the financial and the uh, other uh, infrastructure in order to support the action. So in, in, in Spiral there are different type of, uh, uh, of projects. One is very famous, is Lumio which is about direct uh, decision making on the internet. Um, uh, commons come from uh, mainly uh, two references. One is the, the work of uh, Eleanor Ostrom in the, in the analysis of the com commons in natural resources that then was take, uh, taking that she won the Nobel Prize in 2009. Most of you might uh, know her. Then uh, uh, Johai Benkler took the, this work and applied it to the digital commons experience of how the new technologies is favoring the expansion of the of the commons to through the development of this kind of modality that is digital commons that are uh, based on, on open access. Then we have also cyber scholars, uh, other traditions like LESIC or common theory, uh, 
with uh, Hess and also David Bollier or, or Michel Bowens that is also here, social movement theories or critical theory being involved uh, as uh, references. Uh, in the peer-to-peer -peer value, we have been developing a, a, an analysis of 300 cases of, com of commons production on the internet and uh, creating uh, the largest uh, data collection on, on, on observations of uh, the collaborative production. I'm sorry I am being slow, but uh, yesterday my plane arrived very, very late, so I have sleep very few. So, um, uh, so uh, again, in the peer-to-peer -peer value, we developed this statistic analysis and we collected uh, uh, elements about what is the governance of the, of the case, which is the, the systems of reward or, and recognition of value generation, which are the, the, um, the type of uh, legal form, uh, forms that they adopt, which is the type of, of technology that they adopt. And with this, we have been developing analysis in order to identify which are actually the conditions that favor value creation in, in commons production. Uh, in the analysis, we, we identify 33 areas of activity of commons production uh, from the very uh, first, so uh, which this is the distribution of the sample of 300 cases. So we have 300 cases and identify which were their, their area of activity. And the, the biggest one, which is the, the brown one, it's a free and open source software project, which actually is the biggest one, is uh, where more uh, collaborative production, comes collaborative production is happening. And it had to do because it was the first in, uh, to appear and it's actually very consolidated. There are areas of, of, um, of uh, software in which the commons model is the dominant. It goes much, far, it's, it's much more, uh, have much more uh, market activity than the proprietary one. So, Commons is in certain areas is not an alternative. It's actually the dominant model, like for example in certain areas of, of uh, programming. Then from from these early uh, areas or collaborative writing and this, uh, we have been seeing also the merging of and the expansion of the model to also act things like our physical, like urban commons uh, uh, labs. Uh, or around the uh, currencies. So the model is actually very um, plastic and it's able to uh, um, disseminate uh, worldwide. So uh, it's not only like a sector, it's actually a mode of production that is being expanded into many areas of activities. Uh, we have also uh, been analyzing the relations between the, this sample of 300 cases and we have identified that actually, the the like it, it happened in the, during the industrial model, there are like clusters of cases. Like there are some cases that has a lot of relationship between them. Uh, like for example, around the wikis, there are many wikis that they relate to each other, and uh, this is like a, a, a industrial clusters that there are there is a distribution of the production in different uh, modalities. Like for example, the Bologna network uh, of uh, cooperatives that they also distribute the production through different uh, cooperatives. So here again, we have also see the, the development of, of clusters of activity around areas of common production. Another element that is highlight in this uh, uh, visualization is that the, the cases which are more, more central, that are the ones that are um, in dark uh, blue, in contrapositions to the ones that are peripheral, which are in, in, in soft blue, have to do because the soft blue ones are uh, corporate ones. Uh, in the sense of uh, the dweller are punt, punt, dot com instead of dot org or dot n, or in this, and this brings us to the, to the reflection that actually the, the uh, more the more corporate uh, oriented cases uh, tend to be peripheral to the uh, ecosystem. So there is a strong relationship between the cases that follow a similar economical uh, approach and those who uh, go beyond this common uh, economy approach and tend to be more uh, adopt more corporate uh, oriented uh, elements tend to be uh, peripheral. Another uh, uh, reflection from this visualization is that the points that are uh, stronger are actually uh, licensed. 
are uh, Creative Commons or new, and this is bringing us to the conclusion that actually the licensers, the, like the Commons institution, the element that most of the cases actually uh, share. Uh, but Commons, as I say previously, has been expanding to many areas of activities, but not only to many areas of activities, there has been an, an expansion through hybridification in the sense of the uh, some elements of the Commons production, like the characteristic of being collaborative communities, the characteristic of being supported by digital platforms, the characteristic of being actually based on peer-to-peer -peer relationships, um, uh, are uh, being adopted by corporate models, but uh, uh, leaving aside some of other uh, elements, like the, co the dimension of the Commons governance. So. In the commons, uh, uh, in the corporate model of collaborative production, you have many elements of the uh, commons collaborative production, but lose the the, the collective uh, governance dimension. And, and here, the main distinctions, if we make like a sharp, uh, because there are many many hybrid cases and uh, and the and the the. the Speed is very rich, but if we make a, a sharp uh, contrast between the corporate model that has been expanding uh, first through the dot point zero uh, in the 2005, around 2005, like cases like uh, uh, Flickr or or YouTube, and now with the second wave of uh, corporate uh, adoption of collaborative production through the sharing economy or corporate uh, commons. Uh, corporate collaborative economy, uh, if we make this contrast between the corporate Silicon Valley unicorn model that you can say with cases, exemplified cases like Uber or Airbnb in to, in to con contraposition to the commons model, uh, we can distinguish uh, three dimensions. They, again, they are similar in the model of production. They are collaborative production based on digital, uh, supported by digital platforms. But if you look to the type of economy, the type of enterprise that is supporting them, uh, you have on the one hand in the corporate model is based on large corporations, uh, which uh, distribution of value is being uh, centralized into the corporation and, and, uh, uh, and actually not empowering the communities in the definition of, of or in the governance of the value. In contraposition in the commons model, you have tend to be a small and medium enterprises. And it's important to, to be aware of this, that it, it does not, it's not scale, scaling of this modality is not through very big cases, it's scaling through many uh, medium or uh, cases. So it's based on the small and medium uh, enterprises and uh, providing governance modalities of the enterprise through being a cooperative or through being a foundation but with a, a democratic governance system that uh, makes sure that the community can have some control of the value generated. The second di uh, differentiation is that the corporate model is based in closed technology in the sense of the, 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 the program that support the digital platform is not uh, free and open source software projects. In contraposition, the commons model tend to be free and open source software projects or in even in some cases uh, adopting more decentralized technologies. And finally, the, the third distinction is regarding the, the, the data and knowledge uh, policy. Uh, while in the corporate uh, Silicon Valley model, we have a locked knowledge because the, there is not open data provide uh, and uh, in general, the licensing of the content is uh, uh, copyright uh, uh, content uh, uh, licensing. In the commons modality, we have open knowledge with the use of Creative Commons or other type of uh, uh, license that make sure and facilitate the, the access. As I say previously, actually the, the free licenses is one of the institutions of the uh, Commons Collaborative uh, Production.